about this. What is up guys? In this video, I'm gonna tell you guys what I did to put on this grill right here and how much of a pain in the butt it actually was. You would think for something that just clips in and clips out that it wouldn't be that bad. Well, I was mistaken. All right, I got a new piece for this. This whole piece. This part actually was broken. Now you can't do this with all F-150s if you have, I think it's lane assist or one of those features. There's actually sensors in these boxes. So if you have those features, you may not be able to make this upgrade. All right, it popped right on out. No problem there. It's held together with several clips. And I went ahead to clean that up while I had it out. We'll pop a new one in. All right, the new grill comes with these clips, comes with new clips. So you'll need to go through and remove the old ones. I've already got half of them out. All right, it's installed. I did have a bit of trouble from the clips. A couple clips fell out. Like the way the clips are made, they're supposed to cut into the plastic and give you a nice solid hole. I'm not sure though, over here, because there's no clips in the middle. Eh, I don't know about this. It's gonna fall off next couple days. Fast forward two days and I go to push this part back in. The whole thing comes off. I get mad at it, I kick it across the driveway and i regained my wherewithal and came back and gave it a day and then i concluded that if i add zip ties to the middle of the grill you'll see the white ones i'm going to put black ones in but there's uh holes here four holes for your license plate and so i'm going to put four black zip ties on there and it seems to it pulls the grill in, and I think that's where the trouble was on this particular grill. It's a little better now because you got all this tension. These zip ties are pulling it in, and so it's kind of keeping it the clip hole or whatever it's called. I'm not very impressed with this setup. I think it could be done better. There needs to be some sort of clips or maybe even used the four screw holes in the middle from the factory. They would have added four screw holes in the middle where you could just screw that in. It would be a solid, a solid grill. But because of this, having to use zip ties. I mean, come on, this thing cost a hundred dollars. And I did scratch it up from kicking it across the driveway. I did feel better though, so. Anyway, just a warning on this. The zip ties will help, and I don't have any problems with it now. It was more difficult than it should have been. So that's very frustrating. I'm looking at some different grills, uh, but I'm going to keep this one on for a bit. What do y'all think? It's a little rigged. 